Yeah. On the offense. The average penis size in America is 5.5 inches. Guess what the average size at my company is? 8.3. But, but Royce, I was born with this penis. It's out of my control. Do you even watch porn, man? There are literally hundreds of ads for penis enlargement pills. Just click on one. They work, man. They fucking work. What, you scared? Scared of growing? Scared of having a big fat cock? You don't want to grow your dick. You don't want to grow your clientele. You don't want to increase your salary. You don't have any drive. Where are your goals, man? Why the fuck would I hire somebody who doesn't want a big dick? <laughs> Welcome to the show. We have... We all, we all have wieners. We have Alice Matt yeah. here with us to talk Road Warrior Drake. You guys caught me at a bad time. I'm eating pancakes. Like, who who interviews a man while he's eating pancakes? Especially pancakes that I made with strawberries and blueberries. This is an offense Ooh. to me. You guys should be in church praying. You shouldn't be having comic book creators on a Sunday morning on YouTube. Oh, are we live? Oh, hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Strawberries <laughs> and blueberries? Blasphemy. The only thing that goes with pancakes is maple syrup. <gasps> uh, sir, that and is butter. <laughs> okay, I, I accept you lost. You uh, want fruit uh, and... Uh, and I'll do one better. Fuck pancakes. That, <laughs> fruit goes on waffles. <clears throat> you have not lived until you chopped up your own strawberries and put it in a pancake. Yeah, my huh. wife, she just, when she cooks, she goes to the cupboard and goes, yeah, this sounds like it'll go good with that. And that's how she cooks. I've tried. Well, I'm offended because I, I skipped breakfast oh, to be here. Well, Elon, I'm sorry. But I'm like, drinking oh. mine. Like you owe Elon reparations. He he skipped an important meal just to be on your show, and then the first yeah, thing you do no, it, I, I'm one of the hosts. Right, he's one of our ghosts. That's me. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of breakfast, and then over skip what Elon is saying. This is not you. You, you got to do redo. We have to redo this over again. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to shut this down and start it back up. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I need ten minutes to eat breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. So I never eat breakfast. But I have a monster with whiskey in it. <laughs> so you got all, your, all the four food groups in that one drink. See, that's thinking smart. Yeah. I agree you. Yeah. So w w what's up with you and the quaff, man? He's an evil man. He is. He is. He sent me a whole list of things that I have to get out of you today. Like, I know yeah. he, he, he's he like, ask him about this, ask him I'm about so that. You, I'm so glad you said that. Well, thank you. Thank you. You have just confirmed that there is a whisper network that the quad is leading. You've confirmed. I'm clipping this guy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bro, just let me tell you this, dude. He's not just trying to ruin you, he's trying to destroy you. And he's not just Who coming after you, he's coming quaff. after your family. I know he is. Dude, the quaff is an agent. This is why, as a POC, you have to cherish and revere me, because I'm an endangered species. You are. You're a unicorn, bro. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll take it as a compliment, because, well... <laughs> yeah. Either way, either way... Well, unicorns are rare. Revere me. Yeah. I mean, would, would you question? rather I say you're a yeti? I, I think there's more yetis roaming the earth than unicorns, though. I hear birds. I prefer... I, I like Sasquatch. I'm scared. Sam Squanches. Yeah, Sam's Sam's See, okay, birds get the love because I said it twice. I hear birds, and nobody's acknowledging that there's birds singing. Something. It's Elon. You always hear birds with Elon but in the morning. He's he's on the Elon porch or some shit. Ambience. Elon, you have an excellent ambiance. You should you should thank you and get that ambiance out there because I got a feel it's going to change hearts and bring us back together. That's what I'm saying, dude. And it all starts with a plunger and my beautiful glow. See, mm. okay. you're thinking ahead. I love it. He's an entrepreneur. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what that word means, but damn it, I like it. <clears throat> Mike, I have a question for you, Mike. Why, why are you letting these guys talk over you? This is your stream. You nah, this is yeah, our Mike. stream. <laughs> no, Mike, Mike, get in here. Jump in. Jump in. I'm still trying to find this damn movie. <laughs> Down the rabbit hole. I, dude, we have to talk about this. I'm sorry, special guest guy. Um, no, but you're, um, <laughs> he <laughs> thinks we're you're okay. Good. Listen, no, 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 listen, no, listen, no. Listen, he thinks we don't know what Lost Boys is, and I yeah. we have to finish this. <laughs> and we're in our forties. We know remember, what the fuck the Lost Boys is. I don't fucking remember that part of the Lost Boys. All I remember is the violent, bloody dude. Gore. 
the guy but at the video not, store. It's probably no, been like dude, 30 years since I've seen it. No, right, right. But the dude Max well, then that makes the video sense why you have no vampire. idea. Yeah. Mm. No, this I, is I, what happens when you're born it, in the no, 90s, Mike. Not, no, I was not born in the fucking 90s, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that got mm. aggressive. Whoa! <laughs> I was born in seventy nine. I, 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 anyway. I doubt that. <laughs> you can doubt it all you want, but I'm fucking old. <laughs> Seven, I, I really, so, I really no, doubt but, that. But, but Mike, what, what I'm trying to wait, understand so, is what movie do you think? No, what, dude, what movie do you movie, think it is? Okay, so there is this movie, and it's okay it's, called Lost Boys. No, no, this, it's a cheesy ass movie, and it's it's got that same group of guys, you know, the Corys and the other the other, well, there's like three other guys that they, they were all child actors together. It's got one of those in it. I thought it was Corey, one of the Corys, but basically they move into this neighborhood, and the neighbor guy, Corey Haim, is, is played by this Corey, movie. yeah, and he starts dating his his mom, and uh, okay. It's dude, it's cheesy as fuck. I, I know it's not the Lost Boys because the Lost Boys was that's more called cool. Fright Night. Was it Fright sounds Night? Like Fright Night. No, 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 it sounds like what? Fright Night. Yeah, no, 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 Lost Boys because because um, in Fright Night it's a um, uh, teenage guy who sees a teenage girl. It's William Ragsdale. Yes, William and Ragsdale. then Chris Sarandon yeah. as the vampire. Yeah, Roddy yeah. McDowell as, and, and uh, what's her name from Married with Children yeah. was in it. Is yeah, it? Yeah, the girl, the chick with no boobs. Is it super yeah. cheesy? Is it super cheesy? That's yes. The, that's Pretty the much. Well, yeah. It's it's so overacted beyond cheesy. belief. Yeah. 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 Are they tried to remake it in 2011. What? Yeah. The remake yeah. is good. I like the remake. It's in 3D. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But it's no, got it, the late it great Anton like Yelchin. It. it was cheesy, like it reminded yeah. me of my best friend as a vampire. You guys remember that movie? Yeah. Yes. Dude, I fucking love that movie, but I'm hey, a really big fan of the... In the year 2000, hey, there was a made-for-TV movie. movie called Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. Nah, Maybe you're thinking no. about that? No. Nah. Nah. I okay. thought so, but I looked at it and it's not it. But We're, we're uh, supposed to be interviewing our good friend. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Sidetrack. Yeah. Uh, vampires. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's circle so, back hey, around to these Alice, context. Alex, man. Is Crowdfunder the only place you got stuff right now? Uh, it's currently the only one I got right now. It's actually the fourth platform that I have for the book. I did it on from my comic and, and then Indian Gogo, which which was Shadow Banded, and then Kickstarter. Now I'm on Crowdfunder. Dude, yeah, the clock got you Shadow you, I didn't even know you still had a um, had a, a funding going on for it until I started looking at it. Yeah, I, I, I don't advertise it as well as much because I'm trying to reach a different audience. Because I got my audience on Twitter and YouTube, but I'm trying to go out further. See if um, as on that is a gay duck. See, okay. Someone said John so, Green just called you wait, a gay wait, duck, wait. dude. You bought the smoke. I have a question. I'm an esteemed guest on your show. Why are you reading chats that demean me, then put me below subhuman levels? You need to revere and cherish me. Oh, well, I'm I'm trying to, but then when people tell me that you're a mm -hmm. gay duck, it's kind of hard <laughs> to do even, that. Let me get paid to me. This is this boggles my <laughs> jolly <laughs> green. Read the chats. Yeah. Uh, I know Jolly Green from X, dude. That guy's a beast. Okay. So this, yeah. is you, this is how you ambush somebody. You bring them on and say, hey, you want to talk about your book? Sure. You bring them yeah. on. Hey, you're a gay yeah. duck. Total racism and hatred. And fuck your pancakes. Bro, all I got to say about this. What do you have against gay ducks? Maybe it's making pancakes. you more rare <laughs> than a unicorn. We're duck phobic. Yeah. Who is Jolly Green? Because I seen him. Jolly before. Green, dude. Jolly Green is the shit on <laughs> X, bro. Yeah, he's the he's yeah, he's, the, he's, he's a man. Sweet. He's an evil, evil man. Well, make fun of me. Come on, I need some. Fucking, <laughs> well, I need some. Fun I need to make fun of somebody when they want to be made fun of. <laughs> <laughs> I need the interactions. Damn it! I look fun. <laughs> Everybody ignores me. <laughs> yeah. No, all right. So a a lot of it, guys, on social media, side note, you got to just talk constantly. I know it's hard because we're all yeah. busy, but if you want to get people to see you a lot and interact with you, you have to be on the damn thing yeah. all day. It sucks. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say something yeah. that's, that's probably not very popular and blasphemy, but I don't give a fuck if anybody interacts with me on Twitter. 
Whoa. Well, that's why you don't have any interactions. <laughs> uh, it's just, just figure your stuff. You just figure your own problem out. I'm all like, all right, oh, so we, I was supposed to post today. <laughs> we've ambushed Dazzle Matt. Let's get let's let's focus on that, guys. We have yeah. a job. We have a mission. We have a mission. Oh, you want me to talk now? You, you now it's my so, turn to talk. So now, now I can, now I can represent this color. This oh, character, okay. yes. this character, Gay is the coolest fucking thing in the world. Well, thank you. I Appreciate love that. this guy. That makes me feel wanted. It makes me. It reminds <laughs> me of Howard the Duck if he was played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, well, well let, let me cut you over there for a second. This is not a duck character, so please stop with the D word. I mean, you already started the show up on a wrong foot with what, me. Dave? I'm trying to be friendly with you, but you keep throwing these words out there, and you're trying to antagonize me. I, I mean, I mean, God, um, I appreciate the kindness and and the uh, the thought. Please let us communicate in a more okay. proper manner. Thank you. So if he's not a duck, what the hell is he? He is a beast citizen, sir. Oh, got you. Oh. Beast is. Yes. Oh. That is okay. that is his preferred label, beast citizen. Huh. Well, he's a pretty badass looking B citizen. Well, yeah. Hey, I'm going to clip that. Yeah. Definitely clip it. These fat bottoms. I love it. <laughs> Fucking love it. Yeah, he's, he's got a very sarcastic, wry uh, sense of talking. Um, in a world that's very dry, he's very, very sarcastic. So it's a nice little contrast. I like that. I would think he'd be wet. If it is seen, if he's in a very dry world and you wanted to contrast it, I, that never mind. Again, again, why, why me? I'm, I'm here to be friends with you. I'm here to, to, to talk, and you're dividing it already. Already, it's not even ten minutes in. You're dividing it. But okay, so we stand FYI, divided. We are definitely circling back to this pumpkin war patch stuff. I'm curious. Why do we have to circle back? We're right here, right now. Let's because live in the moment. Yeah. Well, we're be. still talking yeah. about the road warrior. Yes. Oh, okay. This is book two, right? Yep. Book one is available on this campaign, so if you didn't get book one, you can still get book one here. Oh, I did. I, oh, when man. I backed, I think I backed it on an FMC. I got both of them coming. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I was pissed because um, when I first saw. I first saw this whole IP. It was right after you had closed out on one of the one of the platforms, and I was like, "Damn it! I wanted to get that book." And then I seen it pop up on FMC and was like, "Oh, bye now." So there's that. And then I have a really cool ass poster. Well, I will say this: if anybody doesn't get a chance to ever back me on a on a campaign, and they reach out to me, I'll make sure you get a copy. Nice. That's awesome. That's cool. That's what's up. Yeah. 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 So, the thing is, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm less about digital, right? Just getting the books out to people that want it. You know, I, I look at it from a long term standpoint in terms of World Warrior Drake's place in indie comics. Yeah, because you do you do digital as well, right? Yep. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. That's a, that's a really cool thing. Like, there's a lot of uh, creators out there, old school creators, I would say, that are like, "No, don't do digital; they'll pirate you." And I'm like, "Please pirate my shit." <laughs> I mean, I mean, your friends, yeah. tell them about it. <laughs> both, both arguments are valid. Like, I, I mean, a lot of customers want digital, so why would you say no to the market? Um, on the other hand, yeah, the piracy is a concern. Um, so you know, I get it. But you're not going to do anything to solve the piracy anyway, so you might exactly. as well just release it, and and maybe it'll bring some new people to you. Who knows, right? Exactly. Yep. And at the end of the yeah. day, like people still want a physical item to hold, so yeah. Yeah. you know, Definitely. the digital conservative is a way to market it to get the physical. See, my um, my big thing on the on the whole digital and physical is, I like the digital because it lets me check out a book before I invest in it, and. Whenever I go on vacation or when I'm at work or when I'm not at home, I take my Kindle everywhere. And I love being able to load that bitch up with digital and read from my Kindle. So, I mean, there's I, well, you know, digital also solves the whole thing about overseas shipping, too, though. And I even um, I even started using this application called Cal Caliber. And it allows me to host my digitals on the cloud for just my Kindle. So I don't even have to have like a whole bunch of space on my Kindle. 
I can anywhere there's an internet connection, I can connect to my library and get my books and put it on my Kindle whenever I want. But here's my here's my and that that's a convenience. But here's my um, re reservation about that is any point that there's a power outage and there's no service, you lost your whole library. Yeah, that's why I also yep. have a terabyte. Um, what an SD card? I have a terabyte right. SD card that usually has a shit ton on it as well. Yeah. But yeah, like well, Skynet's gonna get a hold of your comic collection and take over the world, dude. Oh shit! Mm. You're right. See, I'm I just throwing that out there right now. <laughs> my my right. uh my collection is hosted Mike, on you my killed us all, dude. You killed us all, man. I hope you're fucking happy. You're posted on my on my big server over there in the closet. I yeah, and you killed us all, dude. Thank you. Thank you. You, see, but, you, you know, know I have my big thing and is that I'd love to see grow old, and I'm not. My out. big thing is, guys, I don't read while I'm out and about. Like, right? so, like my like when I want to read or have my comic book moment or watch a movie or read a book or something like that, I'm in my zone. I'm in my comfort zone. I'm in my house. I'm not going anywhere. So when people read on the go, I'm not really fully like paying attention when I'm out and about, like reading an article while I'm waiting for at the doctor's appointment. Like when, when I like you to do my read. reading, I like Stop the physical worrying. shit. <laughs> I don't know. It's just you're like me. for me, you're the digital literate. thing isn't <laughs> the co having the copy <laughs> on the go. Fuck you, Elon. Is isn't as like a must have for me. Me, I'm a physical guy. If I if I'm gonna get it, I'm yeah. probably gonna back the physical. That's just me though. Same here. I have a, I have a collection yeah. of physicals, but they there's only a few of them, and they're and I want people to see what I'm reading in public too, because I'm that. Yeah, I'm not yeah so you look like so I want to take your comic book. Right. I want to take your comic book with me and I want to open it up and make yeah. my elbows as wide as I can with the pages and look at look, I'm reading right. a comic book. Ooh, nice comic book. And if everyone sees that we're reading Road Warrior Drake, they're gonna know that we're like cultured. You know yeah. what I mean? Absolutely, it'll it'll enhance your status yeah. with the ladies. Oh, most definitely. Hell yeah, dude. But it's also like yeah. carrying around like, a that book guy over there's got a big dick. It's like yeah. it's also like carrying around a book that says "fuck around and find out," right? Yeah. Like, Absolutely. oh shit, that, you shouldn't fuck with that guy. He's reading World Warrior Dragon. Right? Yeah. I Means yep. he probably has no problem choke slamming your ass when you step out of line. Right. <laughs> Correct. And he's probably going to rape you with a gay duck after he's done beating you up. Wait, you see, again, there Just, you go again. Wow. You were, we were doing so well, and you dropped that again. I, I don't want your channel getting struck, but keep dropping that D word, and I can't help what the fans <laughs> are gonna do. I can't. I'm saying it here. What? Fuck? All right, Alice. No. Okay. What, uh, what's uh, what's the plans for book three? Oh, I'm not gonna tell you what the plans are because I, I <laughs> want to keep it surprises this? later in the year. But but my is goal there is there a plan? Book? How about that? Is there a plan for a book three? Oh no, there is. There's that. So. This is actually a trilogy. So book three will be the final story, the final book in this long overarching story. Each book is self-contained story, but it tells a, a larger story regarding Drake's ascension into the ranks of Skull Kill. Um, so book three will be the final book in this story. But um, I do have plans beyond that, beyond that to do like, you know, smaller story, like 20 page stories just to keep the trademark uh, alive. But uh, yeah, the, these three books are the main books uh, are the main, the, uh, chapters in the arc of, of Road Warrior Drake. And again, I will stress this. Each book has a self-contained story. So you're not going to read one book and, and it's going to leave you on a cliffhanger or an unresolved story. So. Nice. We've got a Hail Owls, Matt, for, from Fellsbug. Fellsbug is the artist who did the cover for my book. So if you scroll up with him sitting on the tank, that was Fellsbug. Oh, I'm trying to... Yeah, that is Fellsbug. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a cool... I like Corey that right there. Yeah, he, he did the, <laughs> Corey the cover. And... Um, Lidl did the colors for it. For the cover. That is... Lidl, 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 Lidl made awesome. a play. That is friggin' awesome. Yeah. That okay, is pretty dope. So, so let's, uh, let's, let's come down here and dip into the girl-on-girl -girl action known as Warpatch. Uh-oh. Yeah, so she's Perverts. a character in in the book. Uh, this is like a her a little side story, a little um, semi canonical side story. Uh, it, this is more of a cheesecake book, so I, I'm I'm being honest when I say yeah. If you're if you're a horn dog and you like women in comics, 
sexy a little sexy action then this is the ash can you want to get which comes with the uh in the campaign you can get it with the book you can get it separately or you can get it with the first two books so you, there's options to to get this as a separate book or as a as a part of a package nice. my package what's the story well the story is that elon has a package uh so we need to <laughs> that's to debatable yeah. <laughs> hey, no 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 hey hey why do you think i date short girls so it looks bigger in their hands dude all right let's see, see that's a life i'm hack. getting that out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. life hack by elon Take yeah short girls. exactly mm. yeah make sure they have little hands um, yeah okay. and big feet like how i roll yeah <laughs> well if you have a foot fetish it works out <clears throat> maybe, maybe I should include more feet picks in the book. You know, what? I, I, that's a good that's a good suggestion. I'm gonna have more feet picks included in this book in the ash can. You should. You heard it. And sell the Our, feet picks. You heard yeah. it here first. Foot fetish in war patch. Yes, uh, guys. I, I promise you in the chat. I'm just here to sell a comic book. I'm not here to have this de degenerate oh, well, talk. Uh, uh, Dogbug <laughs> says Drake is a great character to draw. Yeah, he loves yeah. running. Drake. I have the uh, the original artwork for the cover hanging on my wall because Bell's Buck came to visit me one day. Nice. And, uh, you know, I bought the uh, cover for him, so I have uh, it hanging on my wall. And once I figure that's out the only way to do it, it, dude. Once I figure out how to make it look presentable, I'm gonna have the uh, the seal, the trademark seal, hanging next to it too. Nice. nice. Yeah, I've got a drawing from Rini uh, Strakowski hanging on my wall. Nice. I yeah. have yeah. posters yeah. from Love all my thing. favorite indie comics on my wall. No, he's yeah. a good art. So that, that's that's awesome. Was that was that a, a uh, um, an auction or you just bought it outright? Oh, from Rini? Oh, it's a cover for the comic I'm working on. Ah, gotcha. Oh, cool. cool. Also, you have yeah, the, okay. yeah. You have the original artwork. Do you plan on keeping it or do yep. you plan on at some point selling it? Oh, I'm keeping that shit, dude. Her artwork, like, <laughs> it does nothing but appreciate and value, dude. That's true. Like, I, yeah her art is constantly on the up and it's like it's you know the first time like um yeah it's just it's something i definitely want to hang on to yeah you know you there, know? there was something to be said about like just appreciating artwork and it's not always about the money it's just having it because it's a piece of of history that's recorded on your behalf oh yeah yeah well you know because i have two well i actually have quite a few dude um like i have a painting skunk uh you know uh skunk underscore artworks um that he did of my character which is also cherished it's framed and on the wall and then i've got um irene portillo she did a couple drawings for me and i, I have hers too so like all of those covers are basically like i love them all for different reasons you know oh, and yeah. i'm never going to get rid of any of them that's the cover for <clears throat> Champion or Rory Drake, the first book in the series. I drew that cover. So, oh wow, you know. oh nice, yeah. So you're that's not just badass. a writer; you're also an artist. Yeah, I like that. That's oh yeah, the interior cool, is dude. all mine. Yeah, the interior for both books is my, yeah. my own. Oh, okay. oh wow. Well, cool. dude, you were just weren't you just on cockfight? Yeah, I was up against uh, Narwhal, and uh, yeah, we did I saw, yeah. and uh, I, know, I, I voted for Narwhal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, Sorry, I'm being a dick. So this is something that I've seen done before. The um <clears throat> interiors, you did an all blue or a gradient is what you did for the interior so, coloring. Yeah, a couple of shades of blue with some gray blacks on the addition to the white. Um, I wanted what it was. Okay, so I was reading a book called The Sculptor by Scott McCloud, and uh, I was actually fascinated by how he used the blues. So I said, okay, I'll, cause I'm trying to figure out what style am I going to use for this book because um. You know, my art style improved as I was working on the first book, but I wanted to make this book stand out even more. So I started experimenting with the blues, and I liked how it came out. But you know what? I can do this. This is actually going to be good. Okay. Yeah, the only other time I've seen that is uh, the Plumber Sisters with Tyler. Right. He does the same thing. Oh, with yeah. Tyler Gross. And, and um, I, I originally was – thinking that uh, or was looking at it because his covers are color and i was like wow this is pretty cool then uh when you get into the interiors and i was like you know i was expecting color but this the gradients they actually look pretty cool i'm 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 a fan of that that whole style of doing yeah. the interiors well it wasn't um you know uh, robert geronimo on last week yeah uh, he does something yep. similar only he adds the red right yep 
yep. His is all black and white yeah. uh, gradients with a with a splash of red in there, which it seems yeah. to be a, a more and more common thing. But it's I really like it. I think it's it's like a a good uh, change compared to full colors. Right. Yeah, uh, it's funny because it, it's like a film filter kind of thing, you know, like when you're doing film yeah, gradient well, me, for well, film grading like, for films and shit. Because it, sometimes yeah, like color will ruin. It. Sometimes the color can ruin a, a, the ink and pencils in a in a, in a page. Yeah, um, and uh, I, agree. I, I I listened to a, a video from Cartoonist Kayfabe, and they actually mentioned that 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 so the color, especially modern day coloring, it ruins the ink. Sometimes it's just yeah. you just gotta let the ink speak for itself. See, and I'm a big fan Whoa. of inks. Like I love inks, but same here. Yeah, I do is, too. Is when you get into a highly detailed image, it can be a little overwhelming. But if you hit it with this kind of a, a gradient, it mm -hmm. really makes the inks pop, and it's it's just it looks amazing. It, it's aesthetically oh, pleasing to the eye. You know what I mean? Yep. It, it, it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like it too. It's neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also cost effective. I would assume it's cheap, cheaper to do. Not not in the sense of it being well, cheaply done, but cheaper to produce. Especially oh, yeah. if you're doing it yourself. Yeah, you yeah. did the yeah. gradient, right, Alice Matt? So I just I, I work with about two tones of blue. And that's what I do. And then uh I work with like two or three tones of gray in addition to the white and black. And that's mm -hmm. my color scheme right there for this book. Nice. See, that's that's pretty. So good. everything's done with those like those six color like variants in mind, uh, shades, yeah. I guess you would say, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Dude, I liked it a lot. That's really cool, man. That really is. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, yeah, the, um, people that that watched the art in the first book who were somewhat critical of it really enjoyed how this is coming out. So I've gained some appreciation from from earlier critics as well as some new fans who like. Oh, this is interesting. Doesn't mean I've gained the whole community, but you know, yeah. one thing I've learned, especially with my Wednesday streams that I do now, is you have these outliers, these creators who don't follow mainstream rules and create their own style um, that were right. rejected by the mainstream, and they ended up being successful because the style they brought with it was something that people just gravitated towards. Oh, like our crumb, our crumb on Bodie, uh, Howard Finster, yeah, even even one, yeah. One is a great example. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, I think well, that, you know what the, I like the, about the key to that is 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 that sorry, Elon. Go ahead. No, no, it's cool. Go ahead. I think the key to that though for the outliers is that they're super talented to begin with, and and I think the mainstream and a lot of people are resistant to like change or difference. So it's not like it, the talent and the skill set wasn't there. It, it just took too maybe just took too uh, took a little longer for people to appreciate or to see it. But I think with with with, with like with this style, it, it's it's appealing. It's sharp. It's crisp. It's easy on the eyes. And actually, it gives you kind of a tone. It sets like a tone too, which is cool. Absolutely. And and um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like in order to be one of those outliers, I think it, it, like pay attention to those because they're really talented people. They're just usually ahead of the curve. With the talent things, comes yep. from their consistency. Like you can take any style there you go, yeah. that looks yeah. however you think it looks, but if you're consistent with it, it's gonna it's gonna speak for itself. And um, I find that it's not just the mainstream; it's also the independent circles, like even including Comicsgate, where there seems to be a um, a scuff scoffing of certain art styles because it doesn't look like an, a '90s image comic. And there doesn't seem to be an open mind for different styles. So, I, I when I when I started, I've noticed, this yeah. book and I had it completed. I was kind of taken aback by the comments that some people had about how it looked cheap. And I'm like, you do know that that I'm I'm studying from like the outliers of comics, like Ethan and Lair, and as you mentioned, R. Crom and and um, even like uh, uh, Charles Schultz, you know, Percy Cross. Yeah, like those like, those guys had a distinct style. Yeah. And they weren't trying to be like the mainstream. They weren't trying to copy the mainstream. Like but Raul Dahl, too. Yeah, exactly. And there seems to be a concept this conception that it has to look a certain way or else it's crap. And I'm thinking, uh, I hate that fucking attitude. Where, where who wrote the rules? Right, right. Some of the so who wrote the so rules. Like out there that are get off your high horse. 
hey, we're independent comic creators. We can do whatever we want, but only if it falls into this category. Exactly. Only if it looks like the mainstream, right. though. Only right. if it looks like yeah. the mainstream, though. What the hell is the point See, of the I, independent comic book community if we all want to look like the mainstream motherfuckers? Exactly. I like, right. I like right. some 90s comics, but I also Me like too. That's my favorite era. Out, you know? There's there's yeah. stuff like like the Road Warrior Drake and again like the Plumber Sisters. The the art styles are not hey 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 hold, hold on hold on yeah, I, I gotta cut you off here for a sec. There there are no Plumber Sisters. There's only the Plunger. Okay, if we're talking <laughs> anything plumbing related, hey, you know what we talk that about would the Plunger. Be a badass crossover. I'm like no lie. <laughs> I mentioned it to him and he ignored me. <laughs> yeah, he's uh. He's I, I mentioned hard. it to him and he ignored me. Yeah. He is kind of hard to get to talk. Uh, he's, yeah, you know he's he's producing three comics right now. At, I wish well, I he could be said, that Who kind are of you creator. again? No, yeah. but um, also though, I can I I wanted to circle back for a second and saying like as you know, um, as well, Matt sharing his work, I get a really cool Ninja Turtles vibe out of it. You know, That's like I don't I know if thinking. you guys ever read. Yeah, if you've ever read the original Turtles, I mean, it was really yeah. unique. It was black and white and. You know, like when I look and at the bad guys uh, died. Red Warrior Drake, right? <clears throat> I get like a really cool, like kind of independent, like early, uh, well, mid '80s, like kind of like when, um, because when I got into comics, um, with my old mentor Craig Storman, everything we did was outlaw. It was black and white, and um, he at one point in time had characters called the Varmints that did a crossover with the Ninja Turtles. But I get that same vibe, like that. 80s, my, 90s, independent vibe. That's really cool. One of my favorite comics from back the, in the day is the one that was just Casey Jones and Raphael. They did a. Oh yeah. That that was just freaking awesome, and it was that same type of a vibe right there. It was brutally yeah. violent. And it was it was great. gritty. Yeah. Yeah, real gritty, dude. Before they became uh, a kid show. Kirby Kirby. Mm -hmm. hey, oh, Kirby, Hi, Kirby Kirby. Kirby Kirby. <laughs> I don't know if you're Jack Kirby. Kirby, the little pink ball guy. I'm unaware of which Kirby this Kirby is, but he's a Kirby. Kirby, Kirby. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby's, a, Kirby's a cream puff, not a ball. Oh. Well, I, I'm not that gay, so I wouldn't know that much about that. You don't have to lie for us. We're all friends here. <laughs> all right. Where's the quaff? Yeah. He should have shown up in the chat. Oh, forget the, forget the quaff. He, he's out there causing terror. Let him destroy his communita. I'm here to build a communita. So we don't speak of his oh. name. We're trying to communita. Yes. I, I like respect that. your I like, that. I like that. I want to steal the shit out of that. <laughs> I'm going to become part of your communita just because it sounds neat. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. That's Sounds like Kumite. How do you spell that? Ooh, yeah, how, how do you spell that so I get this correct? <laughs> I'm illiterate, pop, remember. Wait, 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 hold on. You're asking a pop how to spell an English word? Are you serious? That's racist. <laughs> I am racist. racist. I spell it. <laughs> I was speaking. I don't spell it. That's what do you think I am a writer? Well, okay. That's how I am well, with Spanish. I'm I can speak it, but if you tell you me to read it, I'm like, what? Or... Yeah. Exactly. See, yeah. you get it well, now. See, I feel like I'm at home now. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, I feel like you've totally warmed up to us, gay duck. Oh, you said the D um, word. Oh, I did it again. Oops. I did it again. He's, this guy's Sorry. killing your algorithm, Mike. You got to figure this out. He's killing uh, your no algorithm. <laughs> Dude, I bring everybody down. I'm an agent of chaos. That's not like nice. the cloth. <laughs> like the cloth. That's pretty fun, though. <laughs> like the quiff. See, look. No, I, it, I, but it is a lot of fun. I, I am here talking comic books in my book and talking okay. about the outliers of the industry. And you're bringing up de de degenerate abomination. This is not right. <laughs> He's going to steal your pants. He's already stolen a lot. I'm, I got my lord in the case. <laughs> it's fine. Can you imagine somebody stealing your pants? But dude, he sold me an NFT of Azomat. He got a picture of him on the toilet and made it an NFT and sold it to me for fifty forty nine ninety nine. See, okay. Mike, yeah. I'm sorry, but not you, he's left with no choice. Now you're gonna be one short host because I'm gonna have a subpoena now. 
<laughs> we have just been issued a cease and assist. Our cease and yes, and we were doing so good. So we were talking comics and the indie comics, and how the current scene be between the mainstream and the indie is very close minded. And then you re you resorted to this, like we can't okay. have an honest conversation about the state of comics because the uh, God forbid we 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 put a, a spotlight on, on how close minded and and how bland it's become. No, we gotta talk about my face yeah. on the freaking toilet. Yeah. No, it's a really good picture. It's artsy and everything, dude. Is this a real thing? Or are you guys really just busting each other's nuts? So I'm not gay. I'm not busting any man's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bad analogy. Well, I, I'm not gay on my mom's side, so I'm allowed to bust nuts. I have gay on my mom's side. I'm twice removed. From yeah. My mom's yeah. Side. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So back to this commune attack. Yes. Yeah. How does one become a Outliers. part of this community? <laughs> I'm, okay, I need I'm to the, join. I, I'm the guest. You have to ask I me wanted, questions. I, I did. I asked you how does somebody become a part yeah. of your community? Make me feel so, important. I got a question. I got yes. a real question. Have you reached oh, funding thanks, goals for this yet? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I did it on the phone of my comics. So okay. crowdfunder, I... So it doesn't so crowdfund doesn't really have a funding goal. It's one state someone backs it in a couple of days the money gets transferred to your account. So it's awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a lot, of, it's a lot like what I'm doing with my book. Yeah. yeah. Well, it has a funding goal, but it's flexible. So so I'll, I'll get the, the, the money transferred to me regardless. Right. So um I'm doing it. Uh, I don't when's have a projected real fulfillment. So my first goal is to have the first draft of the book completed by June and then make some changes after I have a proofreader look at it and then revise it. And then tentatively, the fulfillment goal is December. Tentatively. Okay. Now, I'll be keeping my backers posted on any changes if there's like any delays, but it won't be any immense delays if there are any. It's just that I, I do want to have the uh, book look a certain way. So um, I, I want to make sure that any eye that look at it, if they give me any feedback, I want to have that feedback addressed before it goes to the printers. Gotcha. Do you have an editor or are you just using beta testers or beta readers? I mean, uh, I don't have an editor yet. So I will be, once I get to that point, I will be looking for someone. Uh, the, the thing is, this book is projected to be anywhere between 110 to 150 pages. So oh, wow. uh, it can go up, uh, you know, in price depending on editor. So I have to price around. Right, right. Because I had, I had someone look at it and they, this person quoted me a very reasonable rate. But the problem is because I did the math, the, the price to pay this person to do the editing equals the actual amount of the crowd <laughs> of the crowdfunds. So like, oh, wow. Person, yeah, so. Are you looking for like a formatting a editor, editor or a story editor? So I'm going to just going to look at the, the, the pacing, dialogue. Um, yeah, see if the story gels well, if if uh, there's certain things that I could condense or expand on, you know, things like that. Gotcha. Well, there's definitely well, we do have a... There, so. Those Bug says, Battle of the Kangs. Azomat will reveal the truth about the quaff, and Easy Pie will face true lie. Yeah, so or, Battle I'm of the sorry. Kings. Is a, so Easy Battle Pie will face very true lie. Okay, so yeah, Battle of the Kings, a book that's currently out on Indiegogo right now, is by Wiggle Wiggle. And it's a four page book of strips. So if, you're, if you like fun uh, Sunday strips, um, a whole uh -huh. of artists, including myself, uh, submitted like four panels of a story into the book so my my four panel story is the real story of how the quaff took my character and made it into an abomination hmm he does a lot of shady shit man you really got to watch that guy oh no, i have to call him out see it's the time that yeah. is now to call him out and expose him and you know just uh um put the word out there so that we can save our community because this is yeah absolutely absolutely um abominable so he needs to be dealt with he absolutely yeah uh, needs to be dealt Swiftly. with and the way to do it is to uh, expose him and and i gotta share my screen because i want to show you exactly how i plan to expose him so you can see exactly why he needs to be dealt with so i this is a panel from my from the four panel story in battle of the kanks there he is the quaff so that's <laughs> oh that looks just like him 
<laughs> Look at the claws. <laughs> I, I saw that on Twitter. Twitter. That's yeah, great. It's just, it's just for Battle of the Kings, so you, you you could have this in your collection if you back Battle of the Kings. Yeah, oh, man. He looks yeah. pissed. Yeah, Sosbug, uh, he actually also sent me a, a page from Battle of the Kings that he wants me to share, so there you go. That's a... Uh, let me open it up on this end here. That's a panel. This is a uh, this is the story of the hunt. Oh wow! And there's a uh, Eric Truda and uh, the pie <laughs> man. <laughs> and who drew this page? Oh, this is Stolzberg, the artist who did the cover of my book. Nice. That's pretty yeah. fucking cool, dude. Cool. Yeah, so we have a lot of good artists. It's, it's going to be a fun book, absolutely fun book. So, and it's only four pages, so uh, and there's a lot of stuff that's also included in the can. So it's a very uh, short book. Yeah, it's a short book. It's an old ages book, so you know there's nothing in it, inappropriate oh, okay. for young kids to, to, to look at. So, well, dude, the cloths in it—that's pretty inappropriate, dude. That, I'm, you're right. That is. You're right. I didn't think about. That. Yeah, I wouldn't let my fucking kids read that. I would. I would let my adults read that. Yeah. I wouldn't let my grandma read that. I wouldn't, you know what? Actually, I wouldn't let anyone read that. That thing needs to be burned. We have to have a bonfire. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is a uh, this is a uh, my artist Fels book for this is his page for Battle of the Kangs, which you can back on Indiegogo. I would share the link, but Wiggly's be here because I'm not doing the work for him. He has to be on the chat, show this campaign because I'm. This is my time. I'm showing my book. It's about me because I believe in me. This is about me. Yeah, I am. My We're all here in celebration of you. Thank you. See, I'm glad you see that. See, it's it's. it's no, you, you know, need to be naked up on top of a temple, and we can all bow and throw little tiny Vienna sausages up at you, <laughs> like because. We, we need Did I make the, things awkward? I I think I had to send you some resources after the stream. So I. It looks like our friend Kirby Kirby is also an, an artist listed on this. Kirby Kirby Lacan is also in on this. Matt Barr is delivering something into it as well. So yeah, so, uh, John Dillard is also submitting. So there's a good slew of names. Oh, Dillard. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why does that name sound familiar, Dillard? Dill. Everyone talks hey. about Dillard. He's he's yeah, again. He's like a he's like the Bigfoot. Everybody talks about him, but no one really knows if he exists. Huh. I gotta show you. Like, this I'm pretty. I gotta show. Well, this I'm pretty sure world. he's like uh, he, he's he's not a real guy. But he, Who's I don't the, know. Man. I'm right here. Is right here. Whoa! There is a real Dillard. I'll be damned. Oh, that makes sense. Is he playing with titties? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but he is degenerate. That is Kirby Kirby. Oh, looks... and this is is he drawing movie. boobs? Whoa. Yes. Mm. Atta, Interesting. Atta. 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 Yes, Stan. Otto. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to hell. <laughs> this, this Sorry. Here, uh, let's see if we can. That's, dude. I can't even look at that now. <laughs> uh, where's the? Otto. Okay. That kind of reminds me of a racer head. Well, this I mean, picture right here—it reminds me of snapping to a slim gym. This picture right here is iconic. Well, if you knew the Let's story, see of, it up. if you knew the story of the quads lineage, you'll understand the hair. But uh, I'm going to okay. give you guys—I don't know if you see this on Twitter, but I'm going to put it here because it needs to be documented because he wants to lie about his heritage. But I pegged him, I got him, and now I know the real truth. What else? The picture? Well, you know, what? I'll just check my Twitter because that's where I get. So he needs to be exposed every time. People need to know the truth of him because if not, then no one's ever going to know. So there's this real. Oh, you're not sharing my screen. It's okay. Oh, hey, I got you. I got you. So there's a story of his hair right there. there <laughs> Father and son. See, I, I pegged him. 
You should stop saying that you pegged him. People are gonna think. So yeah, bad. I mean, you say you keep saying "peg," and I'm like, dude, is he gonna correct himself, or is he just gonna keep saying it? I'm talking about. I know what I say. That's some degenerate <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> I've dude, that him. is some good hair, though, dude. No, I'm not gonna lie. Both got nice hair. Yeah, two full sets of hair. Right, mine's running but away from my face. I look like Andrew Garfield with gray hair. Yeah, one Yo, does look like Andrew Garfield. Yeah, like I'm expecting him to shoot a web at me or some weird. An older shit. Andrew Garfield, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or come save me on Hacksaw Ridge. I like it. Yeah. All, yeah. This is all gay. This is all gay. I'm here as a this abomination. All abomination. Okay. I, I don't. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you guys actually listen though. I, I don't know what to say now. I was just going to argue and fight. Now you're being reasonable. That's not why. <laughs> we will never be reasonable. <clears throat> and you should. Yes. We will not comply. Never, never, never do that. We're never. not adult. Yeah. We don't comply with well, I, have a very, I have a very limited vocabulary, so I don't know what most of this means, so I can't do it anyways. So to where I am. So we do have the link for the crowdfunder in the description. Sweet. If anybody oh, wants and to go and check it out and back it. Right. And then before we go to, I want to talk about my new project, Snow Wiener. Huh? Nothing. Man, there's so many jokes. So many jokes. I'm going to be good. Now. Well, that's what we're here for, to entertain. <laughs> Are you not to entertain? Yeah. <laughs> Am I not here to make you laugh? <clears throat> I amuse you? <laughs> How do I amuse you? What's funny about me? No, you tell me. You tell me what's funny. Frank, you motherfucker. Don't make me go Joe Pesci, dude. I'll do that shit. When the name's Louis Getz, I'll get you anything you need. <laughs> get it? Louis Getz? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He was probably the most annoying character in all of the Lethal Weapon history. And wasn't it Leo Getz? Leo or was Getz, it Louis yeah. Getz? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is yeah. Leo Getz. Yeah. Leo. Yeah, because I'm old, remember? I, I like remember the these things. Funniest, I was like the funniest scene yeah. in all of the lethal weapons is when um was it Chris Tucker, right? That was the Were they fuck you with the cell phones? No, when no when <laughs> that Chris scene? Tucker was all high on on the um what the fuck was that? It was uh the the when they took uh what's his name to the dentist and they got all high on the fucking gas and he was like, Yo baby is having my baby. <laughs> I love that scene. I'm old and I don't even remember that. Yeah, it was when he I, I must have tapped out on the weapon. It was uh it, I think it was the fourth one when um Murtaugh's oldest is dating a cop and Murtaugh doesn't know it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't watch that being, one. It ends up being the cop that's like trying to. He's got the, the bad psychology guy. degree. No, he's he's a good guy. He's a no. He's he, the, just a a regular he, cop dude. Yeah, and he yeah, starts, I he's out always by that hanging point. out. He's always hanging out and always trying to help Murtaugh and and Riggs is like maybe he like likes you. <laughs> <laughs> right, because he doesn't know. Oh. He's trying to be nice to him so he can butter yeah. him up. And Riggs but, knows yeah. the whole time. <laughs> and Riggs knows, yeah. Riggs knows. <laughs> but it's got Jet Li in it. It's it's the one with Jet yeah, Li in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the Oh, yeah, one. I definitely didn't see that one. Oh, you got to watch That's a good one. Because he goes, yeah. I'll have some fried li fr fried fried flies. He goes, it's fried flies, you prick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back when you can well, see, make those you know, jokes and not back, get canceled. Back when you can make racist jokes. Yeah. I miss those days. Dude, I like this panel. This fucking this is pretty fucking dope. It's one of my favorite panels. Mm -hmm. So that's why I <laughs> That is pretty dope. What's up, Bamp? It's that's a sound bad ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> I didn't even think Damn. about that. Bam! 
<laughs> yeah, badass <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know when it happened, but years back, my my middle child, she's she's twenty two now. 23 but when she was like in middle school i don't remember what happened something happened and she did something and i started calling her bamf and it stuck and that has been her nickname well you were since. born in 79 <laughs> or you were sexually active at a very young age one or the other no, i was born in 79 <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah my my youngest is 19 and in college i just thought you were super cool for a second i was like damn this guy that was born in the 90s already has a 22 year old daughter no, my son's 26. Well, yeah, I'm 25. Yeah, see, I'm not shocked because Mike and I have already had this conversation. So I know. Uh, well, I'm not really I was shocked just either. I'm pretending. Well, I, well, I was shocked. Acting. No, I'm acting. Because I, I don't always reply to your, I, I don't reply to the threads, but I read them. I just pick and choose when Batman's going to jump in and save the day. You know what I mean? We said Joker, and all of a sudden Elon came in too. You notice that? Batman is overrated. I said it. I said it. What? No, Excuse he's me, what? not. What? <laughs> what? Well, you can't start, dude. You cannot start shit like that two minutes before the show's supposed to end. <laughs> yeah. It looks like we're going to yeah. overtime, baby. I watched Joker for the first time last night and I said something in our group Terrible. chat and it turned into like what well, was like almost a three hour conversation about Batman and Joker. Yeah. Okay, well hold on though. We need to circle it back was mostly to mostly about pumpkin. Joker. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But um remember because we are coming up close to the end and um you did say you wanted to circle back and uh, ask about the pump pumpkin something. Yeah, we already talked about it. You missed it. Did we? Where the fuck yeah, was yeah. I? I don't, I don't know. know. But he talked about it. He showed the shared the screen wow. and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's a. I picked the wrong day to quit snipping. It's glue, an ash dude. can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I picked the wrong day to quit snipping. Glue. I'm sorry. It looks like it's no, gonna like be a I'm, lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. I think it's called thiolane. I'm I'm like it, you know, withdrawing. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, if you have not backed have the Road Warrior Drake, you all need to go do that right now. And all you people in the chat, go hit that thumbs up button and share it. We're trying to get uh, subscribers. And uh, I think uh, we're going to we're gonna talk later this week, and we're going to be setting some, some subscriber goals and view goals and try to get this StreamYard logo off of our stream. So... Oh, That's um, who do we who are we having on next week? Oh, before we forget, yeah, I need to I need to make that thumbnail today too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, give me one second. I'll bring up the list. Where can we uh, find you on the social medias? Yeah, well, I am on Twitter, so you, you can look me up. I'm very fine. Uh, my handle is Elasmat F. But you know, all you gotta just find a last man or what are you drink, you will find me. So easiest person to find. I'm also on YouTube right now, uh, as you can imagine. And uh, I just crossed the 1,000 subscriber mark last week, uh, covering the Ed Piscor stuff. And uh, I've been doing a whole slew of videos. Nice. I got them tomorrow, so I'll be doing more of that. So you can find me. On okay, well, if you subscribe to our channel, we'll subscribe to your channel. Oh, I don't think I have the link. Send me the link to your channel so that I can throw say, it in the wait, wait. description. You just missed it. He is uh, soliciting a sub for sub. You didn't hear that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm e I'm soliciting because we're whores here. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. It's like, bro, you sub to my channel. I'll, I'll lick your balls and sub to your channel. Okay, this that's all. Awesome. I got no that's problem with that. It's, it's, it's not, not organic. Wait, wait, hold on. I, I speak I for all of us. Wait, wait, wait. I have not been soliciting for sub for sub since 2011. Wow. Well, dude, I've I have tongue condoms, and I'm, really? I'm okay with it. No, I don't even know that they make those. I'm sure they do. But they should. Dental yeah. It's why I have this list. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get that. Uh, we'll get the link to your YouTube thrown in the description of the video, too, so people that come back and watch it can see it. Yeah. And And all that good stuff. Yeah, and I'm going to go troll your ass in the comments. Okay, so I, I got one thing to say. Elon and Chris, why the hell is there only one thumbs up on our YouTube right now? Oh, that's because I did that. No, I, I did that. that. 
No, no on I my screen, there's on my screen, there's seven. Hold on. There's seven, oh, yeah. That. I just needed and to we, refresh. And we have a new sub uh -huh. already, too. So Thank Dude, you. Hey, man, what did I tell you about keeping your finger on the pulse, bro? <laughs> You're disconnected. Thank you all for doing the thumbs up and our yeah. new, new two subscribers. That's awesome, too. So uh, go check out Alice Matt's uh, books. And uh, yeah. Until next week. Oh, next week is K-Pop Junkie. I don't know if uh, anybody's really or who all is familiar with her, but she does a, a podcast. And she's, I think uh, I've seen her on the X. Yeah. Yep. She is she going to come on and talk interview. about shitty K-Pop music? No, that I don't even. I think it's. We're actually going to ask oh, her where God. she got her name because I know that that name is not. I actually I don't know. I have no idea what the name came from. Because I know nothing about K pop music other than it sucks. Yeah. So we're gonna ask her about that yeah. for sure. Um but she does okay. a lot of interviews too, so and uh oh, and she cool. does some charity work too, which is pretty cool. So nice. Awesome. As well, Matt, you're a gentleman and a scholar. God bless you. And yeah, thanks for coming a lot on. Of fun talking to you. Yeah, it, thanks for coming on. Am I allowed to have How are the pancakes? pancakes? Oh, I was gonna say, am I allowed to eat my pancakes now? Yes, you are. Well, I can have Dude, breakfast now, but, but how were the pancakes? Here, take a bite and let us know how they were, just so that the people did listening. Did you just say how are the you know, did they just say how are pancakes? Did he just say that? Yeah, he did. They need closure. Mike, your channel's gone. Pancake. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh. All right, guys. He Whoa, bamfed wow. on us. <laughs> he bamfed. Until next week, uh, we'll see you guys all there. I think we really... Okay. Bye-bye.